Imagine you've been building a sandcastle your whole life, each paycheck a bucket of sand. But the tide's rising, that's inflation eating away at your savings. Meanwhile, the foundation's crumbling. That's social security and those risky pension funds. Most of us are staring at the sandcastle, realizing it won't last forever. America's got a retirement crisis, folks, and most of us won't be sipping margaritas on the beach anytime soon. Why is this happening now? Well, for decades, we've been lulled into a false sense of security. Think of it like a credit card with a huge limit. Swipe now, pay later. We enjoyed cheap stuff, easy loans, and the promise that someone else would foot the bill when we got old. But that credit card's maxed out. Interest rates are climbing like a roller coaster, making it harder to buy a house or car. And that safety net of social security. By 2033, it'll be more like a tissue. One sneeze and it's gone. But here's the thing. Panicking won't fix our sandcastle. We need a new blueprint. This isn't about getting rich quick. It's about slow and steady. First, gotta stop digging the hole deeper. Second, start laying stronger foundations. Learn skills that pay the bills today and let you save for tomorrow. Think side hustles, online courses, whatever gets you ahead. Lastly, build your sandcastle with different materials. Stocks for growth, maybe some real estate for steady income and a pile of cash. But when the next storm hits, remember when you graduated college, all those dreams of fancy cars and a big house? Yeah, me too, but fresh out of school with student loans gnawing at my bank account, I was more broke than a busted piggy bank. I took a low-paying gig hoping to learn the ropes. Started as a stockbroker, and let me tell you, it was like flipping a switch. Suddenly, I'm seeing all these old folks. Some were set living comfortably. Others barely scraping by, wishing they'd done things differently. The difference between those two groups wasn't some secret formula. It was all about choices. The comfortable retirees. They acted like their future selves were counting on them. Saved a little every month, invested wisely, built a cushion. The others, they lived paycheck to paycheck. Figured, hey, someone will take care of me later. That's the scary thing. We're all heading towards that later. And the comfortable path, the one with choices, takes guts to start. No one likes to think about cutting back today for some faraway retirement. It's like being told to eat your broccoli when there's ice cream in the freezer. But here's the deal. That ice cream isn't going to pay your bills when you're 65. This retirement crisis we're all staring down, it's a wake-up call. We can either sleepwalk into it or start making those hard choices now. The ones that give our future selves a fighting chance. Okay, let's talk about that social security lifeline we've all been counting on. Imagine it's a gas tank you've been filling up for years expecting a long road trip. Problem is, someone's been siphoning it off. That tank's set to hit empty by 2033. Now you might still get a few sputtering miles, but those promised road trip vibes. Gone, either your gas gets rationed or the government's got to borrow a whole lot of extra cash to keep you moving, neither sounds fun. Well, about that, it's like peeking into your kid's college fund and finding a few crumpled dollar bills. Most folks in their 20s haven't even hit the $30,000 mark. And listen, even those about to retire, they're averaging around $250,000, which sounds good until you realize that won't last long. Worse yet, instead of fixing the leak, people are raiding their piggy banks just to pay the bills today. Numbers can make your eyes glaze over, but here's the cold, hard truth. What we've been banking on for retirement is about as reliable as a rusty old bicycle. The system is changing, and if we want to roll into our golden years with any kind of comfort, it's time to rethink our strategy. All right, picture this. You've spent years building a strong, stable investment strategy. Think of it like a house, sturdy foundations, solid roof. But then the whole darn neighborhood changes. Interest rates are like rising floodwaters, eroding the value of your safe house. And that inflation? It's like a pack of termites slowly eating away at any profits you do make. See, for years, the smart money was on stocks, the ones that grew over time. But lately, folks are panicking, scrambling for anything that seems safer like bonds. Problem is, bonds are like an old mattress stashed in the basement, might look comfortable, but they offer lousy returns, especially when interest rates and inflation are out of control. This is why folks who thought they had it all figured out are panicking. The whole financial landscape is shifting under our feet. Those old rules don't apply anymore. If we want our retirement nest eggs to survive, we got to adapt. Find smarter shelters for our money ones that can withstand the rising waters and those pesky inflation termites. Okay, that's depressing. So what do I do? I know it's a lot. It's okay to feel a little frustrated, even scared. But most of us are still young enough to turn this around. Here's the plan. Let's get real about those retirement dreams. Picture your ideal life comfy house travel adventures, maybe spoiling the grandkids a little. Now imagine turning that into a monthly budget. 
Not just the basics, but the stuff that makes it worth working all those years. Be honest and add a little extra for those pesky price hikes. Because inflation is like a sneaky thief always trying to snatch more of your hard-earned cash. Okay, now it's time for some reverse engineering. There's this thing called the safe withdrawal rate. It's basically like figuring out how much you can take from your savings every year without running them dry. Most experts say 4% is a good starting point. So take that dream annual budget, divide it by 0, 4, and BM. That giant number staring back at you, that's your retirement mountain. It might seem like a crazy high number one that makes you want to hide under the covers, but think of it like training for a marathon. You don't run the whole thing on day one. You start small build stamina. Same goes for retirement. That goalpost is your finish line. Now's the time to draw up your training plan. Every dollar you save and invest wisely gets you one step closer. Let's be honest that regular 925 paycheck, it probably isn't going to cut it if you want a comfortable retirement. Think of it like trying to fill an Olympic-sized pool with a garden hose. Time to upgrade your water supply. This means unlocking those hidden superpowers of yours. The talents and skills that can bring in the big bucks. We're talking about hustling smart folks, mastering the art of sales, becoming a marketing whiz, or learning a trade that lets you set your own rates. Picture this, a side gig that brings in an extra grand each month, maybe even a passion project that blossoms into a full-fledged business. That's real retirement fuel right there. It won't be easy and there'll be days when Netflix and takeout sound way more appealing. But remember, this isn't about getting rich quick. It's about unlocking the freedom to retire on your own terms. Every late night spent learning every pitch you practice puts you one step ahead of the crowd and one step closer to that financial finish line. Remember those dusty old investing books in your grandpa's attic? Yeah, time to toss the financial world is changing faster than a chameleon's colors. Playing it safe like the old days won't cut it anymore. We need a smarter, more adaptable survival kit for our retirement savings. Think of your nest egg like a balanced meal. Stocks are your protein. They're meant for long-term growth, but they can be a bit of a roller coaster ride. Real estate is like your hearty side dish. Steady income with a bit of spice thanks to potential property value increases and cash reserves. That's your emergency salad, not glamorous, but absolutely necessary when the market throws a surprise storm. This mix is all about weathering the ups and downs. When stocks get shaky, your real estate keeps producing. Got a sudden expense, your cash reserves keep you from raiding other investments. It's not the sexiest strategy, but hey, neither is outliving your savings. Building a balanced portfolio is how you win the long game. It's going to be hard work. But the alternative relying on handouts or working until you drop is way worse. This is about more than just money. It's about freedom and taking care of the people you love.